Hi everybody. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping in and watching my videos. Um, my channel's rather new. I'm rather new at this, but I've been kind of sneaking off and painting and just trying to get a little bit of uh, practice in. So for tonight, I want to tell you this is inspired by Molly at Molly's Artistry. Um, I'll see if I can't post a link. Um, it'll come up either across the top or it'll be down in the comments down below. Uh, I, um, I'm going to do a, a rainbow kind of tie-dyed blowout. I, I think that's what she called it, something like that. Um, I painted my sides blue so to make sure that I get them covered but I didn't see that she had a problem with that but she did do hers so I thought I'm going to follow what she's doing and I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to be very careful and um, just try and make sure that uh, I have all my consistencies right you won't be able to see this because it's black but I have practiced and practiced and practiced the consistencies. Um, I did the paint test. Oh, I was going to save that and show you, but I forgot and I trashed it. So, um, you where you put a dot on the paper and then you hold the paper up and watch them run down and see if they run at the same speed. And I think. Um, I think I did a pretty good job with that. Let me just make sure I don't have anything on here. Okay, so the idea is, uh, uh, this is the other thing I was going to do and I didn't do it. So what do I do? What do I do? I want to get right in the center. And as much as you think you're in the center when you... When you end up doing this, um, when you end up with your final picture, you'll see that you're a little off center. And it, it's not that big of a deal that it's off center, but um, I just wanted to see if I can't get it pretty much centered up on the first try. And see, I got a pretty good eye for that. So, this is my center spot. Hope it looks that way to you. And I, I think I've gotten my canvas all in the picture. So, this is the spot where I'm going to start with the pour in black. Now, she put a pretty good puddle on hers in the middle. Um, I got kind of got a picture of it here in front of me so I can uh, see it. I can't really tell how much paint it is, but I'm guessing it's all trial and error. This is a 20 by 20 canvas and I have more of them if I need to have more. Okay, and then she did a, um, a silver ring right around the black. Oop, looks like that's too big and too much. Yikes. Okay, moving on. Try not to, um, no, go away. That's my kitty cat. Go away. Oh boy, that that silver looks really runny. No matter how you much I try, I won't say you, but I'll say me. No matter how much I try to follow exactly so that I can see what I'm doing wrong, it just it never works out. So, 
I may end up stopping this whole thing and just going back and scratching it, you know. It's called scrape the canvas. So let's just see if I can finish it. Of course, in the best way that I know how, it's just keep chugging. And I made my circle so big that I'm not going to be able to have room for my other colors. Now this is bothering me really bad now. Oh, I'm starting to get upset. See, I don't understand. I, my, my paints are exactly as, well, as exact as I can be. Like I said, you can't really tell over the internet, but... Okay, and then the blue was the last color out on the edge, which I will be putting right on the edge. Um, also, Molly's also good, very good at drawing circles with paint. I'm just figuring out that I've never done that before, and it's not as easy as it looks. Ugh, I'm making a mess. Okay, look at all that dripping through there. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, so, and then um, when she got so far along, she added um, a little bit of, I think she added a little bit of white maybe right here and she oh she had a little more silver and this is not as it's very runny silver so i don't know um She did the white out further, and I just screwed that up. Oh dear. So, makes me nervous. Makes me very nervous. Come on. Yikes! Yowza! And she put like a little bit of black out here just to make sure she had enough paint. But I have a feeling I have way too much paint. Um but you know what it is what it is she also put a little silver out here uh, i'm not too good with cups which i i have realized Um, yes, I have realized I'm not real good with a cup and I need to go back to my squirt bottles. So, I have my squirt bottles 
filled with Canela's recipe. And Molly uses just water and paint. Well, I was going to go ahead and try it with what I had. And then I decided, no, if you want it to turn out the way it turned out for her, then you're going to need to follow her recipe. So that's what I did. Hair dryer time. Now, this is another part that I have not been excellent at. Um, and I am going to have to remove all electronics. And, well, here we go. This is um, hair dryer uh, Tammy recommended. It's really small. If you can see in your, my hand how small it is. Um, but it is mighty. And this is Little Flo. It says flower on the side. So I'm calling her Little Flo. Here we go, Little Flo. No. You're going to get pain on you. Get out of here. He is the biggest troublemaker. I have two cats and a dog. The cats were not my idea. I love them. But I will never have cats again. Now see, I can't, I got to get some of this paint off of here. Well, I don't know what the heck that is. I'll do what she does. She takes a paper towel. And she scrapes that a little bit. Can I try and get that back into a circle? I don't know how, but... She also said, only go over it once. But I can tell by looking at this, that if I just go over it once, it's gonna have so much pain on it, it's gonna crack. So, not as good as I liked. I did get a lot of interest right here. Um, it started mixing up a little bit on the edges, but for the most part, it came out okay. Uh, I don't know if I have too much paint still in there. Mm. I'm, just, I'm making it worse. I don't know how to make it uh, fix mistakes. Well, what do you think? I mean, 
I am I'm all revved up about doing lots of color let me show you this one I did a while back and I finished varnishing it and I just blew the heck out of that it's like crazy but as you can see I, I love the color all the colors um, but this one is interesting not sure it's exactly what I wanted but the colors are very vibrant which means they'll be good when they dry because they will dry uh, darker so I'll just go ahead and fix my sides and I don't I don't want to go fixing things because that is where my downfall comes I'm a little anal retentive uh, perfectionist um, and that's a bad trait to have for this craft um, you want you want to just kind of try and leave well enough alone when you can and when you when you do something and you put this much time and effort in it, it took me days to get this ready I, d I don't want it to be halfway done I want it to be all the way good I want it to be 100% the way I want but <laughs> I um I can have everything <laughs> um is this was a good learning experience um I think my paints need to be a little thicker I need to put try to put them in my squeeze bottle so that I can get the right rhythm on that. I, I don't see any orange and I know I, I put orange in there just kind of changes a little bit here and there but that's that's okay. Huh. This is going to flow back in there but I love how that did that was that was just great and I got my cells okay well I have a feeling I shouldn't do anything else and you know what I am I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away I'm gonna walk away <laughs> And hope that it it turns out stays this way because I, I can't imagine that it's going to dry this way although I have definitely put out extreme effort here in making sure that everything is level um, it took me about an hour because I get it almost level and then it would go out of whack because I tapped something too much and then I'd have to start all over again so and I wanted it like I said to be perfect and I think it was essential that that it's level because it's a circular pattern whether it be on a circular canvas or square canvas it needed to have a center so I'm going to um, bring you down and give you a close-up view of everything and I would really like it if you would put down in the comments what you think and tell me if I did something wrong. I'm going to um, send this to Molly and see what she has to say. And maybe I'll try another one if she gives me some advice that, um, that I think I'm capable of doing. Then I think I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. I, I, she said she wanted to try a sunflower. And I don't know how she pulled that off, but I can actually can visualize it, but I don't know how to place the paint. I guess that's where I get it lost. So thanks for watching. Um, let me bring you down and take a look at 
what we got. I lost um, the video at the end of this part of the video where I was showing you the wet result. So I just decided to voice over it and then you'll get to see the dry result next. Sorry about that. Sometimes you just don't know what happens. Well, here is the dry results. It dried okay. I had a pretty big puddle here in the center, so I do see a little ridge, but I think it'll be all right. And I'm sure once I get it resined or um, I may just you know, put some um, varnish on it. I started using the Liquitex gloss varnish and then the last coat the um, using the high gloss. So it's, uh, it, it's, it looks pretty good. And I'll give you a, a little close up of some of the little pieces of it. I can tell what I didn't do or did wrong, but I still think it looks pretty. I hope you all like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you'll come back and paint with me. Until then, bye.